Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Copper Jacket TV. So how do you ban something that doesn't exist? Well, I'm not sure, but that's what the ATF director, Stephen Dettelbach, would like to do. He's calling for a so-called assault weapons ban, but doesn't even know what one is. Mr. Dettelbach, in your 2018 campaign for attorney general, you called for a ban on so-called assault weapons. What is an assault weapon? Could you define it for me? Senator, I, uh, uh, when I was a candidate for office, I did uh, talk about restrictions on assault weapons. I did not define the term, and I haven't gone through the process of defining that term. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about what's going on here. So again, Stephen Dettelbach, the head of the ATF, the same agency that's recently created multiple rules which infringe on our constitutional rights that essentially create new laws and new penalties, and the same agency that is currently fighting against the people and the people's constitutional rights in court has decided that, well, he's going to go ahead and call for a so-called assault weapons ban. Now, the interesting thing about that is during his confirmation hearing, he didn't even know what one was. What he said was is that there's experts at the agency that would be able to help explain that to him and that he would use whatever definition that Congress came up with. Let's go ahead and take a look at this exchange between him and uh, Senator Josh Hawley. Why is it so hard to define assault weapons? Well, I, I think, Senator, what I, what I told you, which is that it is, you don't, you don't want it to be so narrow as to be meaningless and you don't want it to be so broad as to uh, infringe on the rights of law-abiding Americans unnecessarily. Congress took an effort at that uh, definition in 1994. Uh, what did you think of that definition that Congress used? I don't know enough about that. I, that's a definition that I'm not particularly familiar with and I haven't studied the data on how uh, on that particular definition. I've heard Comments on both sides of that, Senator. I, I acknowledge that's a very difficult issue. I, it, it, that is for this body to decide. Is it, is it because that there's really not a category of weapons known as assault weapons? I mean, there's rifles, there's shotguns, there's pistols. Can you go into a, a federally licensed firearm dealer and find a category of weapons labeled on the wall as assault weapons? I, I don't believe that's a category of, of weapons that's labeled on the wall of uh, retailers. Uh, it's not necessarily what retailers call it that would affect the decision of, of a legislative body, but no to answer to your question. So it's, what, it's what politicians and lawyers in Washington call it. Now, I think Josh Hawley pretty much nailed it there. There's no definition because they don't exist. There is no category of them. It is a name that people in Washington gave them so that they can seem scarier than they actually are. And the fact that he doesn't even know what the 94 ban was all about is even more telling. You're supposed to head up the agency that was really in charge of enforcing all of that, and you have absolutely no idea what it was. I mean, this just sunsetted in 2004. It's not like it's that old. But he acts so clueless when he was in his uh, confirmation hearing. But once he actually became the director of the ATF, he's doing everything in his power to make sure that he can put as much pressure and as many regulations on the people as possible. So he was at a Harvard, uh, it was the Harvard Institute of Politics, and he was at a meeting with them where he was sitting kind of doing an interview one-on-one -on -one with the crowd on looking, and he said that he supported an assault weapons ban and that he was calling for one, and that he pretty much even said that he was not joking around. So his actual words at the Harvard Institute were, the president has also said, and I agree, that we should consider and reinstate a ban on certain types of quote-unquote assault weapons. I'm not trying to be cute when I say this. It is empathetically the job of the United States Congress to write a definition of assault weapons. So what gets me about that statement is he completely contradicts himself and doesn't even know it. On one hand, he says that we should reinstitute a new ban on certain types of quote-unquote assault weapons, right? While at the same time admitting that there is no such definition for one and that Congress hasn't even created one yet. So he's saying that we should ban something that doesn't exist. We should basically just uh, find what's out there that we don't like, make a definition for it that fits whatever it is that they want to ban, and then we'll just go ahead and ban those things. So again, you could essentially ban anything under this as long as you make the definition broad enough to make it fall under that new rule. Now, that's exactly what California has done throughout the years. California simply changes the definition of something they don't like, 
and they get it to fall under a new category and they can ban it. That's kind of what they're trying to do here. They want to simply create a new definition and then make whatever it is that they don't like fall within that definition and then ban it. So as you can see, it, it all comes down to meaning. And so while we know that that particular category doesn't exist and some people thankfully in Congress know that that category doesn't exist, it doesn't really matter. If they can make it seem like that is a, an actual legit category, then they can create whatever they want and ban whatever they want. And that's kind of what you're seeing here. So again, we shouldn't have the director of a law enforcement agency saying that, you know, we should ban anything. It's not their job to do that. It's their job to simply follow whatever law is already written and enforce it. That's it. But they, this particular agency likes to create things that they call rules. They like to create things that they call new definitions and they like to simply do what they want. And that's probably what they're gonna try and do here. And I wanted to make you guys aware of that. So again, it's just something to keep an eye on because the more support that they grow across the board, uh, the more that that word ends up having actual meaning. So anyway, I wanna thank you all very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing though, doing, doing so and uh, hit that little uh, like button. I'd really appreciate it. You guys have a great day.